Silverstone. The roar of racing engines and the shriek of tyres as high-powered cars flash round the track. The mounting excitement as the drivers extract every last ounce of power and finally to the victor, the chequered flag and the spoils. All the ingredients, in fact, of an exciting day's motor racing. But this is a meeting with a difference, for these are vintage sports cars, the very newest being a mere 25 years old. Sponsored by the Vintage Sports Car Club, the Silverstone meeting is only one of 15 annual events held all over the country. The club was founded by a small group of enthusiasts in 1934 and grew to a membership of 300 before the war put a stop to its activities. It was restarted in 1945 and membership has increased to over 3,000. Nothing vintage about the drivers. A Le Mans start or Sterling Moss special and the one hour high speed trial is on. A car is classified as vintage if it was built before the 1st of January 1931. Among them are makes which made racing history in their day and others which are the unlikely looking ancestors of cars currently winning Grand Prix all over the world. The oldest car in this particular race is a veteran of 33, an age when the more level-headed, two-legged veterans would think twice about belting flat out round a racetrack. But these sturdy machines seem to thrive on it. Highlight of the meeting is the Edwardian Handicap, a race for historic racing cars. In this, 50-year-olds battle against each other and the clock at lap speeds up to 65 miles an hour. So don't let the word historic fool you. The winner's average speed works out at 59.25 miles an hour. It may never enjoy the prestige of the more ancient sport of kings, but these thoroughbred machines excite as much admiration and enthusiasm as any four-legged favorite. <laughs> 